as the 16th most powerful person in Washington. <laughs> I live, in I, live, Washington. I live in New York. I live in New York. Covering Washington. <laughs> okay. But with, with, with that kind of visibility comes uh, scrutiny. And there are people who said about, particularly because your sources are so astonishing, that, that there's a price of access journalism. That Woodward got this, uh, Teddy White got this. Access journalism means that you won't confront the people who have given you access with tough reporting. You'll, you'll, you'll carry their water. Now, I have read you long enough to find this, to say the least, somewhat um, a bizarre charge. I can also see, to put it uh, as the French might say, that this would really piss you off. Um, so um, what, what do you say to people who write in and say, you're, you're not being tough enough at him, you're, you're, you know, you're, you're just, uh, you know, he's giving you all this good stuff because uh, he knows you'll, you'll carry, carry I mean, water. so, look, people are, are obviously entitled to feel how they feel. It's not really my business how they feel about me, uh, to be honest. It really isn't. I mean, if um, I do the best job I can, um, I, I think my coverage speaks for itself. Um, it, you know, I think that there was, there's one um, liberal critic who used to send me notes about how rigorous and aggressive my coverage was of Trump. Um, and then when the noise machine got kind of big, suddenly changed to you're not confronting him enough. And so I don't, look, I, you know. It goes with the territory. Goes, a, it goes with the territory. Do you read this stuff? Do you, have you stopped I turned my comments? mentions off of Twitter on Twitter because it just was because, well also it was, just, it was swamping everything. It was like, okay, yeah. I can't. Um, if it's thoughtful criticism, I want to hear thoughtful criticism. But if it's, um, occasionally it seems like people aren't even, reading what they're accusing me of doing because, for instance, Mike Schmidt did an interview with Trump. Yes. And I started getting all of these attacks of, don't you wish you were back in the room with him asking tougher questions? I was like, I do wish I had been in Palm Beach, but I wasn't. I was in Brooklyn. I had nothing to do with this interview. So, um, you know, I can't, I think that Trump, um, Trump is such an unusual shapeshifter um, that I think is incredibly frustrating for people who, again, to my point earlier about the Perry Mason moment, people think that, that he's gonna be shamed. And part of Trump's success as a politician is that he's never going to be shamed. So, um, and there's not much we can do about that other than just continue what we're doing. But my, I think my coverage has been, has been pretty tough. And I've done a lot of, um, I've broken a lot of stories on the investigation. I've broken a lot of stories about what is happening within the White House. I, I don't think that my coverage um, looks like a valentine, but um, you know, people are gonna have their opinions.